so when a husband and his wife continue to fight that marriage is not allowing the influence of God to find expression and usually what they are going to check is whether they were the will of God or not whether they were the will of God or not the marriage will still not work until that level of reception through transformation and the key is to go back to the word of God and find out what God said he says husbands if you are not a husband pass that verse but he says husbands love your wives not the way you want he knows the way you want is very it vacillates so he first separates you from your feeling and says as Christ love the church if you understood that scripture you should start crying because no man can love a woman like that it is not given to a man to love his wife as Christ loves the church there are many things that that statement alone will cancel out of your marriage number one that true love can never be a reward you cannot reward someone with love the saints were not rewarded with salvation you see how difficult it is so the kind of hair she makes or doesn't make has nothing to do with it where do you then keep your emotions you see how hard it is that verse is supposed to make you go back and say god how do i do it the fact that you did not ask him is proof you did not understand the scripture as christ loved the church go and read the halotry and the rebellion of the church i have loved thee with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my loving kindness i'm not ashamed to be vulnerable i am god but let heaven say whatever i will still come for you and he says love her that way so before you love her that way you have to get the mind of the person whose model was given to you so the bible says let this mind be in you as a marriage requirement or not just let it be in you which was also in christ jesus that although he was god he thought it not robbery and he came and not only died died a controversial death so marriage for you becomes a project between you and your wife to outdo loving one another never expecting reception now this is dangerous this is not a marriage seminar i don't want to get into trouble but let me tell you sincerely if it is heaven you are looking for it is at the mercy of the will of god the will of god is not negotiable it is received through transformation transformation is your way of repentance that means you compare your life with god's standards and you repent it's not for sinners it is how the saints are perfected through repentance Are we together? Yes. Light. Pastor, you know, truly my greatest prayer for the church is that we stop the empty boast that comes from unarranged truths. There are vast truths that are scattered and randomly arranged. So when we have a challenge, we don't know what spiritual law is responsible for the outcome we desire we try the blood of jesus we try the fire of the holy ghost we try communion we try oil we try touching and agreeing we just manipulate principles at random and it is dangerous to receive results under that condition because you will be afraid of your result knowing that you were not sure which one brought it one day life will not give you enough time to try you will need the word to work with quintessence with accuracy with precision mm. and jesus himself knew what to do he knew what to engage when they met him with five loaves and two fish he said no problem in the economy of heaven there is provision for this possibility imagine that he told the boy let's try this okay return back um what do i try now father help me no 
there is a level of perfection that the saints must get into this is true please pay attention listen you will now i don't mean to insult you please don't don't feel bad i i preach from a heart of love i hope you understand what i'm saying you can stand and be angry and say abuja has not opened up for me you try night vigil you pray you take communion let me tell you there is an exact body of knowledge that is allocated for a territory opening up for a man you can do everything without that and never move this is why we are angry when we see ease in the life of others because we vet their ease versus our frustration and then versus the non result that we have and gets us angry you have to pray and say lord bring me to a level of spiritual accuracy was it not paul that said that we walk circumspectly as wise and the reason why we should walk circumspectly is that you don't always have the time it's an issue of time and paul is saying you may have had time but one day you will be constrained by time and you will need accuracy you raised a child and did not know how to raise that child and you spent five years looking for how to correct the child and he's saying learn what it takes to raise a child fast one day you may not have the luxury of five years to remedy it transformation through enlightenment